My next guest is the CEO of Aluma, that is a US-based chip maker. His name is Jonathan Clamkin, and he joins me now. Jonathan, you just landed a deal with the Navy. Did you get the deal because your chips are really good or because they're 100% made in America? I, I think the answer to that question is both. Yep. Our, our chips are made 100% in America. We have a very unique facility in Santa Barbara, Cal California, and we work with a number of US-based uh, foundries. Um, and the technology that we develop is of high interest to the U.S. government and also to some of the uh, commercial sector. Do your chips specifically improve our military weapons? Are they designed to improve weaponry? Uh, not specifically, but we do build semiconductor chips that could be used for sensors on a number of platforms. The work that we're doing with the Navy, for example, involves taking our technology and putting it on aerial platforms, understanding how these chips will perform in extreme environments. So that could be uh, out in the field uh, and also enhancing the communication systems on aerial platforms. So we've got a really cutting edge technology that is of interest to the U.S. government. Uh, you mentioned mentioned the contract uh, and an earlier one. We also have a contract with the Office of Secretary of Defense and with the Department of Energy. So our technology is very broadly applicable. Uh, how has the CHIPS Act affected your company? My, my question really is, are you getting money from the government directly? Coming. So I think most of the announcements that you've seen regarding the CHIPS Act are incentivizing some of the bigger semiconductor companies. You mentioned earlier that a lot of the semiconductor manufacturing happens offshore. The U.S. only manufactures about 12 percent of the world's advanced chips. So much of the CHIPS, Chips Act funding is incentivizing incentivizing big semiconductor companies to do, do more manufacturing onshore. We are a part of a pretty major initiative in Southern California, uh, funding that flows down through uh, the Department of Defense and brings together the defense and aerospace industry along with a number of small and medium-sized companies and universities. So after the, the big semiconductor companies are taking advantage, now we're starting to see those funds flow down to smaller businesses like us. I just want to check one point. I know you're headquartered in Santa Barbara, California. Do you make the chips there as well? We do one piece of the manufacturing here in-house, the piece that's very core to our intellectual property. And frankly, no one else in the world knows how to carry out that specific step. The rest of the process happens at U.S.-based foundries. So it is 100 uh, percent built in, in America. Jonathan Clampkin, thanks very much for joining us this morning. 100 percent made in America. We encourage that. Thanks for joining us, sir. Appreciate it.